Greetings from Love Without Reasons headquarters in Chattanooga, Tennessee. My name is Santosh Matthews. I'm the CEO of Love Without Reason. Today I just wanted to talk to you uh, a little bit about what's going on with Love Without Reason, both here in the US and uh, across the world. Uh, if you all um, have heard about it, um, on Easter Sunday, uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee got hit by a massive tornado. Uh, the tornado ripped through our city. Um, several houses, they say more than 600 houses were destroyed. Um, thankfully, there was only about a dozen lives lost, which, which is one life too many. Um, there was a lot of personal destruction. You know, as a community, we have suffered a lot. Uh, this is added on to what the coronavirus and the COVID issues are going on uh, across the community. So far, um, our headquarters was not directly hit, but we do have, we did sustain some damage, um, which is, has been uh, taken care of already. Um, but several of our families have been hit very hard. So we request your prayers, please pray for them because they are in the process of rebuilding. This has set us back a lot because now we are catering to all of those issues. But that segues into the third element of what we do um, with Love Without Reason. Love Without Reason has uh, three main areas that we work on. One is the craniofacial surgery, uh, human trafficking, and then we also work with disaster relief management. Um, Susan and I have been working on disaster relief um, management planning for quite some time. And so this was a, uh, an opportunity for us to start um, putting our, our feet into that. We were able to help many families, many communities, Love Without Reason volunteers came out and did a lot of help. Um, so we're very proud of what uh, our families, our Love Without Reason volunteers and families have been able to do. Moving on to India. Um, India is under lockdown right now. Um, people can go out for a few hours to get groceries early in the morning or, and maybe travel back and things like that. However, the country is going through a terrible economic crisis. Most of our patients, they, uh, their families are uh, under the category of daily wage earners. If they don't work, they don't eat. Uh, the government is apparently supplying food for these people, um, but we are just worried about uh, their condition right now. Uh, hopefully the economy will open up uh, in India. And I want to especially give you a report about the Project Butterfly initiative that is going on in India. Um, as you know, we work on the anti-human traf anti -human trafficking initiative. Uh, the ladies who are working in this area banded together and they came up with such an incredible um, project that I'm so proud of them. Uh, they were out there sewing masks uh, for the people in the community. They gave out food, uh, rice and lentils and things like that to those ladies who are, um, who are sex workers. You know, at this time, uh, the ladies who are sex workers do not... Um, because they cannot practice their trade, they get no money. Um, and so we were able to go out and you know, just help them, give them some food and take care of them and love on them, uh, give them hygiene awareness classes. And I'm extremely proud of what we are doing with the human trafficking, anti-human trafficking initiative. A um, lot, of, lot of women have now come to hear about alternatives, you know, why do you need to do, why do you need to get into, you know, how can you get out of human trafficking and find some other sustainable business where you can work on it and things will get better. Things should get better. Um, I'm, uh, it's a big shout out to our Project Butterfly uh, team in Mumbai. Um, we are still waiting on uh, starting surgeries. Um, they will start as soon as the government opens up. We have a lot of patients waiting for surgery. Same goes with uh, uh, Zimbabwe and Kenya. Uh, uh, a lot of work is going on even in those communities, uh, in, uh, among the among people there. The entire countries are under lockdown. Uh, we are concerned about our patients, our people. Having said all that, <clears throat> I just want to say 
Um, the American states are opening up slowly. Love Without Reason will begin our uh, comeback into the, uh, to the offices uh, on May 4th. Every country, uh, Love Without Reason Kenya, Love Without Reason India, Zimbabwe, uh, you have your own timelines, uh, follow your own timelines. But we're going to open, reopen our offices uh, on May 4th. And we're going to start, um, you know, picking back up from where we started. I want to thank uh, our donors, those who gave even during the time of this tremendous crisis. Um, it was extremely important that you donated because that kept Love Without Reason afloat and uh, we are continuing to do what we, are, we, what we have to do. So I ask you, I urge you to continue to donate uh, because, our, because Love Without Reason is a donor supported organization uh, and we are not stopping. Philip's dream is going to continue. Uh, we're going to continue the dream. Uh, the legacy is going to continue. We're going to have at least one or two camps before the end of the year. Uh, we're working on it. As soon as I'm, I'm, I'm released to travel, I will be traveling. We'll be working with a lot of countries and see what we can do. Uh, definitely camps in India. Uh, and then we will look at an African country as well. So those are the updates that I want to give you. I want to ask you to continue to keep the faith, keep moving ahead. Don't let your heart be troubled. Like Philip always says, do not let your heart be troubled. Um, this crisis will bring the best out of you. And this will bring the best out of love without reason. We have a lot more to do. We have a long way to go. Keep the faith and keep moving forward. God bless you.